What's up, Colin? Hi, Jeff. Back and ready for more, huh? Yes. Hey, Terry. Oh, hey, Jack. What's up, Hudson? Terry, you made it back. It did. <laughs> <Three pies. laughs> What's up, Nick? What's up, Jack? Oh, Jack and Ben. Oh, Tanner's back. What's up, Tanner? All right, we'll get started in like a minute uh, with our normal warm up and stuff. So for today, you're gonna need either, if you have like hardwood floor, like you'll need a towel, or if you have a carpet, something that slides, either sliders. I'm gonna use, like you could use a, a cardboard, like a box, a you know, box of, like from a pop cans or something. And uh, we're gonna do tucks with it. Uh, some type of weight. So if you have a book bag, load it, load it with books. If you have uh, milk jugs, that's what I'm going to use. We're going to do the dumbbell rows. Um, so if you have a heavier weight, you can use it. I'm also going to use the weights for uh, single leg RDL and split squat. You don't have to use them for, for those. but um, And then other than that, uh, we're going to do a wall sit at some point. So you'll need just a wall to lean up against. So a cardboard, a weight, cardboard or a towel, depending on what floor you have, a weight and a wall. And that should be it. That should be plenty. And we'll get started in like 30 seconds now, as soon as I get my timer. Oh, here it is. So we will be using the cards today. Sometimes you get bored of the same routine workouts, so sometimes you just gotta grab a deck of cards and then not know what's next. But the structure will be similar. We're gonna do three core exercises, 10 cards, and then some type of movement. All right, so we'll start with our usual warm up. So we'll go 20 second high knees, 20 second butt kicks, and then we'll get into some Stretches. All right, ready? Go. Hopefully the video doesn't cut out today. I didn't post Mondays. Oh, we got another one coming in. I did not post Mondays because the video cut out, so I'm going to have to do it over again and then add the video in. What's up, Connor? Thanks for joining. Switch to butt kicks. You can still join on Zoom for those that are on Instagram if you want to. I'll just add you into the class. <clears throat> and stop. All right, let's do. So push up position. All right, bring your right foot outside your right hand. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Open up. Should feel it in your hip, a little bit in your groin if you're opening. Good, switch sides. So left foot outside your left hand, right knee drop down, open up. Good, then step forward and we'll go right into that frog where we Kind of just use your elbows to push your knees out wide. Get a little groin stretch. All right. Now we'll do our lunges. So you're gonna lunge forward, twist over whatever leg goes forward, and then come back up. And we'll just do it twice each side. Good. 
Like the back, uh, crack your back. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back lunge, and then with a little back bend. So reach back and up over your head. Same thing, twice each side. <laughs> All right. Feet out wide. All right. Come over one leg. Hold for like two, three seconds. And then come over the other leg. Keep that chest up. Same thing, twice each side. All right. Tess, Tom's on his way home. Tess, that's awesome news. All right. So our three core exercises are gonna be a one minute plank, all right? And we're gonna do this four rounds, so I'm gonna vary up the plank. So the first one's just gonna be a straight plank. Then we're gonna do 15 tucks, and that's where you'll need either your towel. I'm gonna use cardboard, because I basically have like a carpet with the turf. If you have tile or hardwood floor, just use a towel. And then uh, some uh, boat pose sit-ups. So, one minute plank first. Ready? Set, go. Straight plank, shoulders over elbows. Twenty seconds in. We're going a minute. So you, we just hit halfway. That's 30 seconds. A little less than 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. Depending on what you have, what floor you have, grab either, like I'm using my cardboard. We're just doing double leg tucks. All right, so we're here. You're in a good, like, push-up position. You bring both knees in, both knees out. So if you have a towel on hardwood, it's gonna work the same way. A towel on tile, it'll work the same way. You're gonna do 15 of them. Go ahead. Okay, that works. And then the last one, is that boat pose and then we're going to go down into like a straight so you're going to start here we're going to go down and then come up that's one you're going to do 10 of them don't let your feet hit the ground legs should be out straight and bend when you come up Lose track account. All right, so here's where we get the variable part of the workout. We got four exercises, okay? Four exercises and a deck of cards. So this is where I don't even know what we're gonna do. The one, first exercise is all it is, is a dumbbell row. So if you don't have a bench or a chair, all right, we're gonna do whatever the card says times two. So if it's a 10, we're gonna do 20 on one arm, 20 on the other arm. Okay, but if you don't have a bench, you could do it just standing, just like this. If you don't have a weight, find something heavy, a book bag, a bucket in your garage, something like that. All right, so that's one exercise. That'll be hearts. Diamonds is gonna be single leg RDL. I said I'm gonna use the weights today, so here. 
right? If you want, you can hold both weights if you have two like this. But we're going to do single leg RDL. So if it's a 10, we're doing 10 each leg. Clubs is split squat. You don't necessarily need a pad. I like to use it. So you're here. Split squats. 10 each leg if it's a 10. And then in spades is just push-ups. I know we did 90 push-ups Monday, but maybe we'll get lucky and get less today. Um, so we're going to do 10 cards and then some type of movement for a minute. I'll keep that a surprise. All right, card one. I'll, I'll keep you on track. 10 of diamonds. Make sure both of you can see it. 10 of diamonds or king of diamonds. So 10 RDL each leg. So just go right to it. If you don't have weights, you don't necessarily need them. Keep your back straight. Sometimes you can just use like a pole for a, a mop or something or a broom just to help you balance if balance is hard on this. Next card, six more each leg, six more, another diamond. I swear, it can get challenging. My balance is already off. Hopefully not another diamond. King of clubs. That is split squats. Ten each leg. Ten. After ten, you switch legs. Since we're doing 40 cards today, maybe I should make aces be one instead of 11. Ah, that wouldn't challenge ourselves. Eight, nine, 10. I guess you could look at it one of two ways. If we do all the high cards first, we're getting them out of the way. Nine of hearts. So that means 18 each arm for the rows, okay? If you have something heavy, or a good weight, you can just do nine. I, I doubled it because I'm pretending like nobody's got a weight at home. Which means the heaviest thing you're gonna get maybe is a loaded book bag. All right, there's a nice easy one. Three split squats each leg. We're halfway through first round of cards. Two, three. One, two, three. Oh, Queen of Diamonds. That's 10 more single leg RDLs. Oh. Try to challenge yourself. Try to stay balanced for all 10. 
I can do it on one leg. Let's see if I can on the other. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Didn't think I would be able to do that. King of spades, that's ten push ups. It's our first push up. Six cards. Ten of clubs. Jeez. Ten split squats each leg. That was our eighth card. So two more. And we're done with round one. Ten. Remember, you don't have to hold your weights if you have weights. If you have them, I would hold them. We've been doing body weight long enough. I bumped up. Oh. All right. Eight of spades, eight push-ups. And then we got one more card. Seven. Eight. Hopefully a nice easy one. Oh. Four of hearts. That's eight rows each arm. Because we're doubling this number. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Use the bag. All right, that's 10. So here's what we're gonna do for movement. It's just one minute, then you'll get a 30 second break and we'll go to round two. So this one, we're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers, and then we're gonna step up, or stand up, and do 30 second jump rope. So a mountain climber is gonna be just this, okay? Jump rope is just gonna be in place. If you have a jump rope, go ahead and grab it, but you don't necessarily need one. All right, mountain climbers, ready, set, go. Let's keep those legs pumping. Only 30 seconds. We're halfway. So when I say switch, I'm just gonna step up, stand up, go right into jump ropes, and switch. Stay on your toes on the jump rope. Stay on those toes. Don't let your heels come down. You can try and go quick. Nice, short, quick jump ropes. You're halfway there. Should feel it in your calves if you're doing it right. Got about five seconds. And stop. Okay. Water break. I don't think anybody else is. Okay. All right. Those 10 cards are not going back in the deck. So, we're gonna do our minute plank again. Our tucks and our crunches, boat pose crunches. This time on the plank, all right, we're gonna go 15 seconds of a regular plank, 15 sec or 30 seconds where we're gonna go up and down, so up to our hands, back to our forearms, and then the last 15 seconds will be back to regular. So 15, 30, 15. Ready, set, go. So regular.
All right, up, down. Go up, up, down, down. Try not to move your hips. Hold your core tight. We're doing this for 30 seconds. We're halfway. Five more seconds of this. Then we got 50. All right, hold down now. Back to regular plank. 10 seconds left. Two, one, stop. All right. Grab your towel, your cardboard. All right, if you don't have either, you could probably just do, like if I was here, come up and then back. Obviously not on the cardboard. That was almost a disaster. All right, 15 tucks. Go ahead. Now we got crunches. So boat pose, so we're here. Start here, come down flat, come back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, If you like those, join yoga tomorrow at 6 o'clock with Mackenzie. There'll be plenty of those probably. They'll be right here on our Instagram again. So that's the next workout after today. All right, we got 10 new cards. Hopefully not all 10s. Three of diamonds. So that's three RDLs. Each leg. I'm going to make this challenge and put them back in the bag. Now I'm here. Two, three, one, two, three. Seven of hearts. Seven times two is 14 rows each arm. So I did it this way. So I'm here. So 14 on one, 14 on the other. Jack of clubs, 10 split squats each. Just gonna hold them. Five of spades, five push-ups. Like that. Oh, I didn't show you. Jack of spades. Ten more push-ups. Stay down there. Halfway through this round of cards. Three of hearts is gonna be six, 
Six rows each arm. Nice quick one. Six. Seven of spades. Seven more push-ups. <sighs> nice. Two of spades, two more push-ups. We're down there, might as well get them done. It's eight cards. Two more. Ooh, jack of hearts. 20 rows each arm. That's a big one. Keep your back flat. What did I say that was? Eight? Nine. Nine. One more. Four clubs. Four split squats each leg. And we're halfway home. Cinco de Mayo. All right. So this time for our movement. All right, we're gonna go 30 seconds of skater jumps. And as much as I don't want to do it, Nicole, we're doing 30 seconds of shuffle. So skater jumps, side to side. So this is skater jump. So here, all right, 30 seconds. Keep good form. And when I say switch, we're just gonna go right into a shuffle. You could use two walls, you could use just shuffle three one way, three back. All right, ready, set, go. Nice solid base. All right, don't let your knee drop. Dive in. If you're gonna fall, fall to the outside. 10 more seconds of this. Switch, so right into shuffles. Ah, stay low. Fight the urge to stuff, stand up. Stay on the balls of your feet, halfway. Five seconds. And stop. Drink. Whew. Really feeling those tacos from last night. They were good though. It was all worth it. All right. So this time on the plank, we're gonna do 15 seconds. One arm up, 15 the other arm. Then we're gonna switch and do 15 each leg. So it's still a total of one minute. 15 seconds, one. One arm or one leg's in the air. I'll show you what I mean. It's not a side plank, so. So regular plank, 
All you're gonna do is lift one arm, tuck around the back. Ready, set, go. So one arm's up to start. Try not to twist your hips. I keep it out in front of me. Shaking is normal. Switch arms. So the next switch will be, both arms are gonna go down one leg in the air. Don't cross it over the other leg. Three, two, one. Switch, one leg up. A lot of people have tendency when they lift a leg up to lift their butt up. Try not, fight that. Use their lower core. Three, two, one. Switch legs. Last 15 seconds. You got it. Hold tight. We got five left. Three, two, one. Good. Back to our tucks. 15 tucks. Tucks for going boat pose. So boat pose, come out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Since we're already a half hour in, let's go. We're gonna make it a little quicker. My lucky number is seven. So we'll do seven cards, movement. One more time through, seven cards, movement. So we'll go a little quicker so we get the whole thing in our Instagram time. Five of clubs is first. Five split squats each leg. Five of diamonds, five RDLs each leg. A good pile. Two of hearts, so that's four, four rows each arm. Two of diamonds, two more RDLs each side. I'm sticking with that pile, we got five, five, two, two. Once to the well too many, yep. Queen of spades. Five, or uh, 10 push-ups, I should say. Two more cards. Four of spades, four more push-ups. Stay down there. One more card, going back to the pile. Eight of clubs, so eight split squats. 
each leg. That's the last card of this round. And then we'll do seven more in the last round after one more round of core. Eight. One, two, three, six, eight. All right, we're gonna do each of those movements for 15 seconds, the four we already did. Because our last movement isn't really a movement, we're just gonna do a one minute wall set. So, 15 second mountain climber, 15 second jump rope, then what do we do? Skater jumps. Skater jumps and then shuffles. Thanks Terry. <laughs> All right, mountain climbers, ready, set, go. Remember, you only got 15 seconds of everything. After this, we're going into jump rope. Five more seconds. And switch. Right into jump rope. Stay on those toes. After this is skater jumps. Five seconds left. Switch, skater jumps. After this, shuffles. Still got five seconds of that. Switch, shuffles. Five more seconds. And stop. <sighs> Need a drink. Last round coming up. <sighs> so our one minute plank this time is going to be side plank, regular plank, side plank. 20-20-20. Then we'll go into tuck some sit-ups. Seven cards, one minute wall sit, and then we say goodbye. All right. So, side plank first. Ready, set, go. Remember, we're only 20 seconds each, so fight to keep those hips up. We're almost there. We're halfway through this side. It's our last round of stuff. Five seconds left of this. Switch right into regular plank. We're only here for 20. Halfway. Try to pull your elbows towards your toes. Three, two, one, switch, other side. Ten seconds left. And one, stop. Whew. All right, tucks, 15 tucks, 10 of the sit ups. Alright, ten of the boat pose crunches. And then we got seven more cards. So down, up, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Whew. We got seven cards left and a one minute wall set. Here goes. Eight of hearts. That's 16 rows each arm. Now you know why they don't wrap these bags. Two cartons in a bag. 3 of spades is 3 push-ups. I like those cards. Oh, queen of clubs. It's 10 split squats each leg. Hoping less legs before this wall set, but eight, nine, ten. Oh man, ten of diamonds, ten RDL each leg. That's one I should just put back in the deck. Here goes. When you're doing these, make sure you get your back heel up. That's what's going to help put, make you feel it in the hamstring. You should feel it in the back of the leg you're standing on. If you're getting those hips up and back. Leading with your back heel of your other leg. Eight, nine, ten. All right, three more. How about a nice easy one? Nine of spades, nine push ups. Eight, nine. Two more. Four diamonds, that's four RDLs. One more card after this. One, oh, that's bad. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What's the last card gonna be? Oh, 10 of spades, that's 10 more push-ups. Last card, then we got a one minute wall set. Three, four. All right, let's see how I can do this. Prep in my wall sit space so you guys can see me. That should work. All right, find a wall. If you need a quick drink, grab a drink. Find a wall. One minute wall sit, then we'll do a little cool down stretch. Oh. By the way, I hate wall sits. Ready. 
to that. Go. That's how you know I'm low. I gotta keep my head below this thing. Ooh. Keep your back and shoulders up against the wall. Quarter of the way there. I got sweat dripping in my eye. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. Weather's been cold, but sun's been out. That's a good sign. We're halfway done. I'm trying to talk so I don't think about my legs. So your whole you back. your tacos last night? Oh, I made them. First time for us. What's that? <laughs> we did too. Yeah, that was the first time I made them. They were great. I was, uh, I was impressed. So was my wife, which is a good sign. Ten seconds left. I know. I thought she was going to be like, next time we're getting Taco Bell. Three, two, one. Oh. <sighs> See that? If we talk our way through it, it goes faster. Absolutely. All right. We'll do our little cool down stretches. Whew. So let's go wide. Opposite hand, break, reach it down. Don't bend your knees, so try to reach. Ankle, toe, foot. Come up, other leg. Opposite hand. All right, we'll do that stretch we started with. So, call it Spider-Man. Right foot outside your right knee, or right arm, hand. Reach your right arm up, twist. Use it, go on the outside of your right foot, so open that hip up. Switch sides, out that back knee, outside of your foot. So here's my shameless pitch for yoga. We do this in yoga tomorrow. Six o'clock, same place. Step up, we'll do that frog stretch. And we'll do one more leg stretch. So six o'clock tomorrow night, yoga class with Mackenzie. Last week was pretty good showing. I think there was at least 20 to 25 on the live on Instagram. And then the YouTube has been getting a lot of a lot of views. So, legs out straight. We'll do the first one. We'll just go arms straight up. Bring everything down at once. Reach as far as you can. So if you can get your toes, get your toes. If you can get your ankles, get your ankles. And just kind of pull yourself in. Should feel it in your hamstrings. Then you're going to bend. So I bend my right knee. Cross it over my left. All right. Reach. Put your left Elbow across your right knee. Look back behind you. Keep your back straight. Now we're just going to do that on the opposite side. So left across, right? All right, that's all we got today. I think uh, I think this is week, huh. is this week eight of quarantine? Yeah. I think it's week seven of workouts, something like that. Maybe week eight of workouts, I don't even know. I lost track of days. Yeah, me too. I don't even know what day it is anymore, but we're hoping, we're praying that we don't get viewed as uh, like in LA Fitness or Golds or any of those gyms because we'd love to open the doors and have limited or restricted amount of people in here and be able to get workouts back up and running. So, yeah, Barb, Barb said week 435. That sounds about right. So, feels like it. We're we're going to we're going to petition to try and get open. Um, can't can't say that it's going to work, but it's looking like we're in phase 4 of the reopening, which would be the last phase. So, it's not good. But for the meantime, we'll be on here. We're working on the website, so that will be up and running soon. 
Um, and that'll have a bunch of different options. It'll be a link to all our workouts, our YouTube, all our social media, so you'll be able to follow us and follow along and see how we're doing and see how we'll progress. Other than that, have a good day. Enjoy sun shining out there. So have a good one, guys. Have a good one, Instagram. Thanks, John. Yep, have a good one.